Hello there and welcome to a very interesting video by the MXQ project. So MyGK, who is a TV box manufacturer, have decided to port over Kodi Krypton to Android below 5.0. Now Kodi decided when they first developed um, Krypton that they weren't going to support KitKat or below anymore. There's still a lot of KitKat devices out there, mobile phones, TV boxes and so on, so it does make sense to actually make this run or attempt to make it run as best as you can. There's a lot of things in there that um, upgrades over Jarvis, such as the Python and stuff like that, all that sort of code that makes certain website links work and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, we really kind of need it for the future, and so it does make sense to bring it over to all these devices that are still running KitKat. There's no point in chucking your box in the bin, the hardware is more than capable, so let's just make these things run on it. So, my GQ have done that, and they've brought us over the first release of Kodi Krypton 17.0. They haven't got around to doing 17.1 just yet, but I'm hoping they're going to get around to that at some point very soon. But for now, we can install it using something called FireDL, which is brought to us by a website called Adimatic and you can just search the Play Store, find DL, install that and what will happen is it'll ask you for a code. Just type in 60002 and then it'll bring up a link and you can just download it. There is another method, just the entertainment box. They've taken this version of um, this version of Cody Krypton and they've just rebranded it and then you can download the APK and install it using your pre-installed pre APK installer that's on most boxes and you can just install it that way. I'll leave all the links in the description etc. So let's take a look at Krypton running on boxes with Android below 5.0. So this is really exciting. I'm really looking forward to showing this. So before we do this, I'm just going to prove that this is actually running on KitKat. As you can see, MXQ Android version 4.4.2. Let's jump into loading up the eBox version of this. It's just a rebranded version of the MyGeeka port. But let's load it up anyway and show you around. Here's the S3 skin, which is for Cody Krypton. And yeah, there we have it. That is Krypton running on KitKat. Let's move over to the settings just to show you a bit more about exactly what operating system it's running on. As you can see, it says operating system Android 4.4.2, API level 19. And it says build version 17.0 in the bottom right hand corner. Obviously we've not got 17.1 just yet. I'm hoping my Jika at some point will do that very soon. Hopefully, hopefully they stick with it and keep improving it further and further. But yeah, there we go. So obviously I have not going to show you builds and add-ons and all that sort of stuff running on this. It's probably not my job to do that. You guys can go away and you can try that out for yourselves and see how well it works, if there's any bugs and, and so on. I'm sure there will be bugs, but I really don't know just yet because I have not tested it out fully. So there we have it. That's Cody Krypton 17.0 running on your KitKat device. So the device you see there was an MXQ box. And yeah, this will install probably onto any KitKat device that you've maybe got. So as you can see, yeah, it runs. I don't know how well it runs when playing films and all that sort of stuff. So that'll be up to you guys to test it out. According to Adimatic, builds for Cody Krypton all install perfect on it. Obviously don't attempt to install a Jarvis build or stuff like that. If you if that's what you're into, of course, you might not be into that all that sort of thing. You might just want to use a regular media center for your own stuff and that's absolutely fine. You can test it out that way. I'm not gonna go into what it can do and what it doesn't do because I don't know. It's really going to be a case of up to you guys and see if there's any bugs or anything like that or problems. Um, as more information comes out, I'm going to you know, report on that as best as I can. Give me some information if I've missed anything out. Please comment in the box below. I'd love to hear about it if you know more about this than me. And yeah, so as always, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, give me a thumbs down and we shall see you in the next video.